most AP Calculus students don't know how to take this derivative the right way. Check this out. So to start this problem, most of you probably are going to use quotient rule. However, that's not the most effective way to do this problem. And if you're trying to score a five on the AP exam this May, you definitely want to know the most efficient way to tackle each of the problems. On this problem here, you're going to use logarithmic differentiation. So we're going to start by taking the ln of both sides, and then we're going to use logarithmic properties to break this problem down into simple derivatives. Here's the step. So in this first process, all I did was take ln of both sides, and as you can see, I used my logarithmic properties here, so I got ln of x plus 11 minus one third. The one third comes out in front from my um, cube root, and I have x squared minus 40. So if you don't remember your logarithmic properties, shoot me a message and I'll send you a free copy of my AP Calculus review sheet. To finish this problem, we're gonna take the derivative of both sides. So this is what that would look like, and it's very similar to implicit differentiation. Now, at this point in our problem, we're almost done, but we need to multiply by y on both sides. And when we do that, to finish off this problem, we're gonna need to substitute in what y actually is. We're gonna take x plus 11 over the cube root of x squared minus four and plug that in to our y to complete this problem. That's how we use logarithmic differentiation. Follow me for more AP calculus tips just like this one.